Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be making a quick showcase of my uh, new system that I created, the multi-seated vehicle. Um, now this doesn't necessarily need to be a vehicle class, you know, the common class that you see from Unreal, the wheeled vehicle pawn. It can be any pawn or any actor even, um, as long as you have, uh, you know, an actor at least, uh, this system will work. You just then basically tell it where you want the seats to be and which one is the driver's seat. Uh, and then everything will work. I'll make an in-depth tutorial later so you guys can see how to set that up in your own projects, but for now I'm just going to showcase it. So I'm going to press play here uh, with uh, the listen server and with three players. So I'm basically going to get three little windows here with the server and the clients, and it's very simple how it works. So you just approach the vehicle and from any direction that you approach, uh, you press the interact key and it's going to find the closest seat to you. So in this case it's going to be this one, but if I go with another guy to this side, it's going to be this one for example. And then I'm going to go over here and just uh, go into the driver seat. And you can see, uh, let me maximize so you can see correctly. You can see that my guy over here is actually as a different pose than other guys. I just quickly created a, a example idle pose. Obviously, you can input your own animation, uh, you know, for being inside the vehicle. But then I created a quick IK system. So your hands actually stay attached to the wheel. So you can see that I have a separate wheel over in the vehicle. And as I drive and steer, uh, the ends follow the steering wheel, so as it looks like you're actually interacting with the wheel itself. So everything is working, and it's going to work uh, pretty much with uh, you know any animation because it's IK driven, and uh, you know it's just easy to set up. You'll see that in the tutorial that I will make. So yeah, this is basically what you can do. Now I, I didn't show, uh, but let me. Uh, make this window smaller again, let me exit with one of the guys, and you can see that now I can actually use 1, 2, 3, and 4 to change seats. So obviously I can't change to the fourth seat over there on the left because it's occupied, but I can change through any empty seat that I have, including from the driver. And you can really, you know, it's really dynamic. I can go into seat two and now go into seat one with this guy. And now I'm the one driving the vehicle over here. And, you know, if I go back and go to the first seat with this guy, now he's the one driving the vehicle. So it's very, very dynamic. There's no transitions uh, or anything because you're actually not possessing the vehicle pawn. You're driving it directly from your character. Uh, without ever depossessing your own character. So you can, you know, for example, if you are in a seat and you have an inventory system, uh, you can interact this, uh, you know, you can use your own inventory system that is in your character uh, because you never actually, uh, you know, stop possessing your character. So you can use any functions that you have in your character inside the vehicle. Even, for example, if you set up a shooting, you know, from, uh, you know, the vehicle, you can set that up in the character because it doesn't matter in which position you are, you're always going to be in control of your character. It's just if you're in the driver, you don't really move your character, you just tell the server to move the vehicle. And that's basically how it works. So yeah, that's it, that's everything that I wanted to show you. It's quite simple in terms of views. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of details that I needed to show you uh, in the tutorial to how to set this up in your own project. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and it gives you nice results. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next time. Bye-bye.